Hello Saints, this is Pastor Philip of Light of the World Missions, Mindanao. Today is our sixth video training from the manual Casting Out of Devils written by Pastor Richard Ng of Light of the World Missions, Hawaii. Today is our sixth video training which we will take from the manual Casting Out of Devils. Our subject today is Binding and Loosening. In the book of Psalms, chapter 149, verses 8 through 9, it says, To bind their kings with chains, and their nobles with fetters of irons, to execute the judgment that is written. This honor is given to all the saints. Praise ye the Lord. So, saints, every believer that is born again, we have the ability and the honor to bind up kings and nobles or the strong men in the mid heavens and every earth bound demon which is upon the earth. Our job in the deliverance ministry is to set captives free. The Word of God also says in Matthew chapter 16 verse 19 that He gives us the keys to the kingdom of God that whatsoever we bind on earth it shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever we loose on earth it shall be loose in heaven. We had that opportunity again to bind and to loose. Loose means to uh, to shatter, to break the pieces that when an individual is held captive he is bound, he is bound by chains or by fetters of irons and that we have the ability to break, to shatter, and to loose the captives free. In deliverance, this is one of the first key principles that you must apply when praying over individuals. You must bind up the strong men, then you must loose the chains that the individual is being captive or whatever dynamic oppression that he is bound under, that you will bind it and that you will set the captives free. The Word of God also says that that our weapons of warfare, warfare are not carnal but mighty in God in the pulling down the strongholds and casting down every imagination that it exalts itself against the knowledge of God. This is in 2 Corinthians 4.10 that also in Ephesians 6.12 it says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in dark places. So we can see that our battle is in the spiritual realm and that we must walk in the spirit and that we must take our authority in the Word of God and to apply it to have victory and to conquer our enemies. But then again, the Bible says that in Colossians 2.15 that Jesus had already spoiled and has already defeated and rendered Satan hopeless and defenseless. That it says that he had spoiled principalities and powers and made a show of him openly and triumphed over them in it, meaning that Jesus has stripped Satan naked and rendered him hopeless and defenseless so that we can go against the enemy because even the scriptures say that even the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. Now who is the prince of power of the air? It is none other than Satan. For in Ephesians chapter 2 verses 2, it says that in time past that we walked the course of the world according to the prince of the power of the, of the world, which spirit worketh now in the spirit of the disobedient children upon the earth, that Satan rules from the mid heavens and he controls his strong men over the earthbound spirits. 
In the book of Luke, chapter 11, verses 21 to 22, it says that, If the strong man is armed and keeps his palace, then his goods are in peace. But if one stronger than he cometh, and taketh away his weapons wherein he trusts, divides his spoils. So, here we can see that when you walk according to your faith, and knowing that it is I that not live, but Christ that lives in me, and greater is he that is in the world. That, that the enemy or the strong man has one more stronger than him, which is Christ Jesus living in every saint that can bind him, take away his weapons, and divide his spoils. And in the book of Mark chapter 3, <coughs> verses 27, it says, How can one enter into the strong man's house and spoil his goods, but first he must bind up the strong man and then spoil his goods? Or the other scripture says, Or else how can one enter into the strong man's house and spoil his goods, but first one stronger than he must bind up the strong man and then spoil his goods. So then we are greater and we are much more powerful than any principalities in the mid heavens or any earth bound demon upon the earth. So saints, when you do deliverance, the first principle when you do it or the first step that you do is to bind up the strong man. Then what we do next is that we cut the cords in the mid heavens to, uh, to break the communication or the supply line of strength to the earthbound spirits. Then we dry up the waters of death and then we can name the demons or name the strong man and then we can cast them out. So saints, on our next video we will be talking about the eight legal rights that Satan has to oppress and to influence individuals and keep them into bondage. So until then, saints, we'll see you later.